achieved with CryEngine. Hello everyone, and welcome to Campfire Games' Kickstarter campaign. My name is 2nd Lieutenant Clark Morningstar of the 7th Illinois Volunteer Infantry. I'm otherwise known in the community as George Creasy, the team's historical advisor. I am but one member of a team who, for the last three years, have been developing a game by the name of War of Rights. Passion for the subject, the game developers, and a few hundred dollars in donations from our wonderful, loyal community have been the only things to keep us going thus far. So what is War of Rights, I hear you ask? Well, the grand vision for our game is to create something as historically authentic as possible while still achieving a fun, satisfying game experience. War of Rights is a first-person shooter made with the power of CryEngine, which currently focuses on the Maryland Campaign of 1862. This was the turbulent and bloody time of the American Civil War, where family and friends became foes, each marching to the beat of the drum and fife. You, the player, can play as a young private, foot-slogging his way through the battlefield, as well as anything in the grades up to Major General, 
or you will be at your headquarters relaying orders to the various units under your command. As mentioned before, we are envisioning as historically accurate a game as possible. So players will march and fight, following the Napoleonic tactics still adhered to in the era, and as representatives of any of the units in the Army of the Potomac, or Army of Northern Virginia which fought in that campaign. We are also looking to include not only the important infantry, but artillery and cavalry as well, each bringing their own carnage to the battlefield. As you can see, we have done our utmost to make sure that every part of the map is as accurate as possible, with little exception. Furthermore, most every building, from main houses to spring houses, will be enterable. For the moment, the game will feature two main game modes, those being Historical Battle and Skirmishes. Historical Battle will be the main feature of the game, where massive amounts of players will fight as regiments against those on the other side in the entirety of the maps, fighting over every acre of ground that we have painstakingly made to match the period. The second game mode is Skirmishes, where the battlefield has been sectioned down to a small portion, though still quite large so as to focus the players into engagements like the fighting over Burnside Bridge, or the taking of Fox's Gap, or the back and forth over control of the Maryland Heights. Our game will also feature customization of each player's soldier, though these customizations are more cosmetic than they are beneficial. But this will allow variations to both your character's features, as well as his clothing and accoutrement. But beyond the characters and game comes the models of our weapons and gear, all of which are modeled to look as accurate as possible, which also includes a selection available to you. For instance, we have been asked several times about including the Gatling gun to the game. However, it was not used in the Maryland campaign, let alone much of the war, so you will not be seeing it. However, you will be seeing any of the many artillery and long arms used by the Army, such as the Springfields and Enfields, the Colts and Remingtons, the Sharps, the Whitworth, the Ordnance Rifles, or the Napoleons, amongst others. These weapons will also react to the beating you put them through, becoming fouled by continuous use and in turn making it harder to load, and upping the chance of a misfire. Finally, each of our maps are a work in research and development that are years in the making. The Maryland campaign itself would allow us to bring four maps out at first for players to fight on, each of which are the largest maps allowed in CryEngine, at 4 kilometers by 4 kilometers, or 2.5 miles by 2.5 miles for those of the more US variety. This does mean that a few of the larger battlefields, like Antietam and South Mountain, that we have had to condense the real-life locations of so as to include the most important parts for the sake of playability. However, all the scenes thus included are still historically authentic, with great care taken to things like furniture, window dressing, even rain spouts. In the future, we have more maps in mind, with the hopes that we can continue our goals of making a fun, while still educational game. With your help, all of that can become a reality. In the current times, it's hard to find a set of programmers willing to work for free, like the rest of our team has done. But with a successful campaign, we can hire the necessary manpower and ramp up production of uniforms, animations, army branches, and weapons. We hope to get Skirmishes Mode, our version of a closed alpha, out within the next six months. But without the necessary funds, there's no guarantee that a workable game will be made in that time frame. Though we do have other options should that be the case. However, we believe that there are other people out there, like those in our community and ourselves, who think this would be an incredible game. And with your generosity, this dream, three years in the making, can come true. So from all of us here at Campfire Games, thank you. And we'll see you on the battlefield.